If you share a common ancestor with somebody, you're related to them. It doesn't mean that you're going to invite them to the family reunion, but it means that you share DNA. I think it's fascinating. Henry Louis Gates. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 facts you might not know about DNA. Twenty-five. DNA is found in all living things and stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. 24. We've all heard about paternity tests which confirm the relationship between a child and his or her potential father, or how a criminal can be identified via a DNA test if investigators found blood, sperm, or hair at the crime scene. But DNA testing is also used to authenticate food such as caviar and fine wine. 23. DNA is used in wildlife forensics to identify endangered species and the people who hunt them, poachers. 22. In forensics, DNA analysis usually looks at 13 specific DNA markers, segments of DNA. The odds that two individuals will have the same 13 Loki DNA profile is about 1 in a billion. 21. DNA can be extracted from many different types of samples, blood, cheek cells, and even urine. 20. DNA tests can help you understand your risk of disease. For example, a DNA mutation or variation may be associated with a higher risk of a number of diseases, including breast cancer. 19. DNA is affected by the environment. Environmental factors can turn genes on and off. This pretty much explains why, for example, some people are darker or hairier than others. 18. Changes in a DNA sequence are called mutations. Yes, Wolverine and your fellow mutants, I'm talking about you. 17. However, mutations can be changes in just one DNA base, or they can involve more than one. Mutations can also involve entire segments of chromosomes. 16. All joking aside, many things can cause mutations, including UV irradiation from the sun, chemicals such as drugs, and so on. 15. If all the DNA in your body was laid end-to-end, -end, it would reach to the sun and back over 600 times. 100 trillion multiplied by 6 feet divided by 92 million miles. 14. If you unwrap all the DNA you have in your cells, you could reach the moon 6,000 times. 13. Genes are pieces of DNA passed from parent to offspring that contain hereditary information. 12. Our entire DNA sequence is called a genome. Additionally, our entire DNA sequence would fill 200 1,000-page New York City telephone directories. 11. Many countries, including the US and the UK, maintain a DNA database of convicted criminals. 10. Dolly the cloned sheep had the same nuclear DNA as its donor mom, but its mitochondrial DNA came from the egg mom. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. It makes no sense the way it sounds. But trust me, it makes sense to the scientists. 9. Mitochondrial DNA is found in the mitochondria and is passed only from mother to child, because only eggs have mitochondria, not sperm. 8. Almost all the cells in our body have DNA, the exception being red blood cells. 7. It is estimated that if you could type 60 words per minute 8 hours a day, it would take approximately 50 years to type the human genome. 6. Every human being shares 99% of their DNA with every other human, but a parent with its child shares 99.5% of the same DNA. 5. Even though it codes for all the information that makes up an organism, DNA is built using only four building blocks, the nucleotides adenine, guanine, thiamine, and cytosine. 4. Most of the DNA resides not in the cell nuclei, which control heredity, but in our mitochondria, the organelles, units within cells, that generate metabolic energy. 3. A DNA fingerprint is a set of DNA markers that is unique to each individual, except identical twins, since identical twins share 100% of their genes. 2. Contrary to popular belief, James Watson and Francis Crick did not discover DNA. That honor goes to Swiss biochemist Frederick Meischer, who found the molecule in the nuclei of white blood cells in 1869 and called it nucleon. 1. 
For the record, Watson and Crick didn't figure out that DNA is our genetic blueprint either. Bacteriologist Oswald Avery and his colleagues did that in the early 1940s. What Watson and Crick actually did was decipher the double helix structure of DNA in 1953. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.